When Antiques Roadshow visited Fort Worth, Texas, I knew we were in rodeo town. So I decided to visit the National Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame to see some stylish boots. I'm Diana Vella. I'm the Associate Executive Director at the National Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame. We are in, as you said, the Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame. What is a cowgirl and how would you define that? Well, we look at a, a cowgirl as any female who somehow shaped the American West. So that could be through competing, it could be through entertaining, it could be a Sandra Day O'Connor, who is our first female justice in the United States. It could be an author or um, a Georgia O'Keeffe, a painter. So it's any female, again, somehow, who shaped the American West in any one of those ways. You've selected some boots for us to look at today. They come from two women who are very different from each other. This first pair in the middle belonged to a woman named Fern Sawyer, and she was a real deal cowgirl. She could rope and ride. She uh, was told by her father that if you want to work and do chores on the ranch, you have to do them as well as any of the guys. And so she took that same determination into the rodeo arena where she competed and did very well. Her name is, in fact, written in both the front and the back of the boot, and Fern Sawyer said that these were her favorite pair of boots because they reflected her interest in the Native American culture. She, of course, grew up in uh, states, both Arizona and New Mexico, where there was a strong Native American culture. And she herself enjoyed jewelry and turquoise, and so she wore a lot of that and had never seen a pair of boots like this before. And so she said that this was her absolute favorite just because of how distinct they were. What you and I would consider high dollar boots, she had no problem wearing into the arena. And we have two other pairs of boots here that have a lot of color and a lot of sparkle. Tell me about a those. A lot of bling. These, <laughs> these two boots belonged to an entertainer named Judy Lynn, and she was a country and western singer. And she was very popular in the 40s and 50s. And she believed very much in this, this factor of getting attention and reflecting the light. And as you can imagine, when she would walk into a stage under the light, these would catch the light and just a big wow factor. These were constructed by a bootmaker and a clothing designer who goes by the name of Nudie, and he's known as the Tailor to the Stars. And so you'll see that these have got some designs of flowers. We've also got all of the crystals on the heels. Over here we have a spider motif. It is on the front and the back, and of course it's also got the bling on the heels as well. Amazing. How frequently would these have been used? She would use these whenever she would perform, would always dress up. Uh, and she also said that she had spent close to half a million dollars on her clothing. So a very important part of who she was and her identity. This is actually Judy Lynn. This is her saddle too, the lady who owned these boots. So can you imagine like when she rode out into the rodeo arena, if you've been to a rodeo, you know the lights. Oh so can you gosh. imagine how this would have caught the lights? Glowing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's eight. You can't not see it. <laughs> no, you can't. And there's over 8,000 crystals on this. Wow. Do you think that boots that are made today differ from these as well? Is there more of a, uh, a trend to simplicity or even more ornate? Yes. That would obviously depend upon the wearer, but you do see certainly a level up in the way boots are constructed with some leather tooling and leather inlays and you can still find the bling, you can find fringe on boots. It's a very dynamic field right now, women's western wear clothing, and um, you see it on the streets. Mm -hmm. I don't own a pair of cowboy boots right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in getting a pair. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's smart to find a vintage pair or mm -hmm. a new pair, and mm -hmm. how do the prices vary on those? Mm -hmm. Well, cowboy boots are very popular, and that's a good thing in that you can find them almost anywhere. You can find them online, you can find them in vintage stores. Oftentimes, some of your larger manufacturers will have outlets where they'll have factory seconds. In terms of pricing, it can go anywhere from, you know, $100 all the way up to a pair of custom boot, which could run in several thousands of dollars. So it's a very wide field, and I, I think there's something out there for everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Vela, I had an amazing time looking at these boots today, got some inspiration to try and find a pair for myself. Thank you so much for hosting us. Oh, thank you for coming.